We also need some horizontal beams. To set the precise height, we will use the section view again. Open the section view. and measure the height position where the wooden collar beams will be placed from zero level. Measure the middle of the top of the masonry block skin of the external wall. Hold down the shift button to constrain the cursor movement to the Y direction. The measured height is 5.99. Repeat the same with the other wall. The measured height is 3.96. Create a guideline by dragging a vertical one to the middle point of the column. and measure the distance between the zero level and the intersection of the guideline and the roof, and not the bottom of the rafter. Switch to the gallery plan, and activate the beam tool. The collar beams should have similar parameters, like the rafter. The only main difference is that these are horizontal. Let's pick up the properties of the existing beams with the eyedropper tool. Now, open the settings dialog and change the parameters as follows. Horizontal Reference Axis Offset, 0. Height to Project, 0, 5.99. Click OK. Use guidelines to find the precise locations in the middle of the load-bearing skins and columns by activating a guideline on the skin separator and dragging it to half skin thickness 0 0.125. Draw the beam on the floor plan from one side of the roof to the other. If necessary, change the display order of the roof so you can see the walls below by selecting the roof. Right-click and select Display Order, Send Backward. And do the same with the other two beams with different heights to Project Zero, 3.96 and 3.20 as measured previously on the section. Open the 3D window to see the result. If you zoom in, you can see that the wooden columns are too high. Select them and click any of the black nodes on top. 
Select the Stretch Height command in the Pet Palette and set the height to the bottom corner of the beam. If you turn off the display of beams in the view, Elements in 3D View, Filter and Cut Elements in 3D Dialog, you will see that the beams and walls are connected automatically, and there are holes in the place of beams, as the timber structure building material has a higher priority than the wall materials. These connections will be considered when creating a bill of materials as well. Navigate to the terrace side of the building. There is a missing slab. Open the one gallery level in the Navigator project map and activate the slab tool in the toolbox. Open its settings dialog. Set its offset to home story 0.00. Set Home Story 1 Gallery. Composite Flat Roof. Reference Plane Top. Surfaces Tile White 30 by 30. Brick white, paint one, layer, structural, bearing, tags, load bearing element, exterior, slab. Click OK. Select the Polygonal Geometry method at the info box. Activate 3D Cutaway on the standard toolbar. Open the section. And drag a horizontal 3D cutting plane from top and position it on the top level of the short walls at plus 3 meters. Change to the 3D window again and start to draw the terrace slab by clicking the exterior corners of the short wall segments. Click only the four corners of the slab. We will add the curve later. Make sure that the straight longer side goes along the internal side of the core skin of the exterior wall at the reference line of the wall. After clicking the fourth corner, select the slab and click the edge that needs to be curved. The pet palette appears. Choose the Curve Edge button and click on the inner side of the curved stone wall. Choose View, Elements in 3D View, Filter and Cut Elements in 3D command and select the Use Element Attributes option at Cut Surface Display. Offset the curved edge of the slab towards the external edges of the side walls. For the last step, select the slab Right-click and choose Edit Selected Composite. In the Composite Structures dialog, change the thickness of the insulation, fiber hard, to 0 0.20. Click OK to close the dialog. 
turn off 3D Cutaway at the standard toolbar. Please activate the File, Save command to save the project. You may enter any desired file name to the Save As field. Finally, click the Save button to proceed. In this chapter, you created the basic envelope of the building using external DWG data for the terrain, exterior walls with different construction methods, slab with magic wand, roof with associative connections to the exterior walls, wood structures with the use of guidelines to get special intersection points, slab tool for pavement and floor slabs,